Now here's an update to a couple of videos that I've made in the past. The Hisense TV review and how to get 4K going on the Xbox One S. I have the Hisense 50 inch 50HHC model. That said that it had HDR support, but when I tried setting it up on my Xbox, it would say that it would not support it and would not allow it. And every time I popped in a 4K Blu-ray, it would tell me to use an HDR ready TV to get the most out of the movie. And to get started with getting it fixed, what you want to do is connect the TV to either Wi-Fi or Ethernet and going to the settings menu and then going to about TV to check for a firmware upgrade and keep updating until it just won't let you upgrade anymore. Or what you can do is download the latest software onto a, a USB drive and update that way instead. I did both just to be 100% sure I was fully updated. Then after you do that, you need to go back into settings, go all the way down to system and then at the bottom, you want to go to HDMI function. And at the top, there would be HDMI 2.0 function. After you hit that, you want to switch it from standard to en enhance. And after you've done that, all you have to do is restart the Xbox One, head into settings on the Xbox, head to display and sound, and then video output. And then you want to go to advanced video settings. Then on the right, you will see the allow HDR function highlighted. So you want to go over and check it. Then after you do that, just head over to, to 4K TV details, and on this page you'll see that everything is checked. And from here you can start watching HDR content such as Marco Polo, which is a Netflix original. You can also watch a 4K Blu-ray like the Star Trek in the Darkness movie. And at the be beginning of it, there is a segment where they're escaping the planet and you see all the plants and the volcano erupting and it just looks really amazing with the extra color depth along with the extra details and clarity added onto it.